This is an extremely important topic. It talks about strategy to rationalize sum and differences of cubes. Now, we have done sums and differences of cubes, and you know the formula, and something like this, like a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square, right? And if we have here plus, for example, right? In that case, this sign changes to plus and this sign changes to minus. And that is how the formula is, right? So we have used this formula in uh, earlier factorization and done quite a few problems. And this is a huge and very important way to rationalize. And I'll show you how to do it when we are applying to uh, radicals and you know, there, you know, this is very, very important. So let me take an example to really show you how uh, we should do rationalization of sums and differences of cubes, right? Now, we'll take here example like, let's say we have x minus 1 over 1 minus cube root of x, right? Now, this is cube root of x, correct? Now, since it is cube root and we don't want cube root in the denominator, we will rationalize it. To rationalize this, imagine you have one a minus b term, right? If I multiply both numerator and denominator by a square plus a b plus b square, then I get a cube minus b cube. Cube of this will be just x and so we will get rid of the radical part that's the beauty right so this is what you need to understand and so help me out now what is a here a is 1 and what is b b is cube root of x do you see that so what should we multiply and divide by so we should multiply divide by a square a square is 1 square so let me write in the numerator 1 right plus since this is minus right since it's minus, we are going to use plus, right? Plus AB. So A is 1 and B is cube root of X, right? So we'll say cube root of X. Is that okay? No. This is what it is, right? And then B square. So B square is this square. So this square could be written as, we can write this as cube root and we can write square here, right? Or we can write here, both ways, right? So that becomes b square. So if we multiply, divide by this term, so let me just copy this term in the denominator also, right? Then what do we get? If we do that, in that case, we can expand the denominator and we get a cube minus b cube in the denominator, right? So let me and the numerator. I'm not going to factor it. I'm just writing it as such. And I'm writing this as x minus 1 times 1 plus cube root of x plus cube root of x square, right? And here I get 1 minus x. 1 minus x and that's it because a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square gives me a cube minus b cube right so b cube is in this case cube of cube root of x do you see that so we just get this x do you understand so the whole idea is to show you how to rationalize and get rid of radical. So that is the way to rationalize. You remember when we were doing sum and difference of squares, we rationalized by multiplying and dividing by its conjugate. Here we do it by the trinomial a square plus a b plus b square. That is kind of important. Yes, of course, John, now you can simplify this and you will get this equal to. So we can write this as equal to minus or because this divided by this is minus 1 of let me still keep it in bracket we can rearrange it if you want to so we can write this like this also 
or we can write it as such 1 plus cube root of x plus cube root of x square right or you can just open the bracket and write minus for each but here also I've seen students making mistakes they don't quite understand that these two terms are same uh, and they could be divided by one another leaving one minus here right so minus sign comes here so that is very important for you to understand you can try some questions on your own and let me give you one very similar to this for you to try and this time I'll put the cube root in the numerator right say let's say cube root of x here plus 2 over 2 right now in this case you can try it yourself right so this is like rationalizing the numerator okay so what will you multiply this so what I have done here is I have taken first change is the numerator and second with the plus sign so when you use with the plus sign you have to multiply with negative sign with a b right so let me continue doing it for you so let's use different ink and then if you rationalize this you basically multiply it by this way a square is what a square is x square do you see that this is a square plus will become minus because we are doing a cube plus b cube right so we will use minus this time so when you use minus product of the two terms so the two terms are 2 and this number right so you get 2 and this is cube root of x correct and then you get plus square of this and square of 2 is 4 so this is the number by which you should be multiplying correct and let me copy it in the denominator correct so when you do that what do you get you get a cube min plus b cube which is plus here right so we get a cube plus b cube right because this becomes a plus b right this is the formula right in this case the formula is let me write it in red a plus b times a square minus a b plus b square is equals to a cube plus b cube correct so we get we get a cube plus b cube right so which is cube of this will be the number uh, x and cube of this will be 8 right 2 cube is 8 so you get 8 over 2 times all this do you see that square cube root minus 2 cube of x plus 4 this is what you get as a result but the idea is that we got rid of the radical from the numerator right so that is what this technique is all about and it's a very important technique i hope you've understood if not you can write on your comments and we can always get back to it okay thank you